Sorry, guys, about yesterday, man. I was really tired. I kept falling asleep on the second video. I'm not sure I did really well on the first one, but um, about this whole virus thing. But let me finish what I was saying because I know y'all are wondering what guy I had to say on the matter. But first of all, I want to let you guys know, back to the whole... I haven't done a whole lot of videos. I went back to that you're a god and this is a game. And if you come at things from that perspective, always, from the now, if you come at it with those two bits of information, you can walk through day to day happier and happier. But what I see happening is people are are trying to yeah, do the things that society says you're supposed to do, okay? And where the problem is, is with most people, is you're older. You know, you're not five. So you've got a life here, a life that most of you lived in 3D that was very dense, and it's built on a whole bunch of belief systems. And you think that you're going to figure out by figuring out these belief systems. And I'm here to tell you for the umpteen zillionth time that you've got so many belief systems in place that were put in place because it's very difficult to get a God into amnesia. And I've tried to tell you guys this. You think that this is going to be easy to get out of it, to get out of amnesia, to be able to create it easily, quickly, and efficiently. This whole system was built to help gods who can do anything, and I mean anything, uh, uh, create a universe with a blink of an eye. You can do anything. Forget who you are and get stuck so that you can't do those things. Now, what my opinion is, and that's all it is, is that because there are so many belief systems in place, and because you do them every moment of every day without even thinking about it, you cannot go back and undo those. So I've tried to make this easier for you in coming the other direction with it. And instead of trying to fix all those, and I think I've heard people talk about doing shadow work and such. Uh, I've tried all that, guys. Uh, even after dying, I've tried. To me, I don't think it's possible. I don't think you can do it that way. But what you can do is you can just keep telling yourself over and over again, oh yeah, this is a game, I'm a god, I've forgotten what I can do, and that right there will stop you repeating these belief systems and these behaviors and this vibration of what you're used to doing your whole life. In that moment, it will give you relief. In that relief, you will be happier. And for what I can see, because this is such an intense game, that is the easiest way. And in my opinion, if you're starseed, the only way out uh, to get to feeling better. Uh, because everything is built the other direction. You do not come to planet Earth to um, become enlightened, to become a millionaire, to live happily ever after. That's not the point. You've got that on the other side and more, more than you can even imagine. This game was built to be difficult, to be everything that a god is not. So you trying to figure it out is never going to happen, not from your human standpoint. This thing is way bigger than you can possibly imagine. And I've just dealt with very, very basic concepts. So that is what I've tried to give you guys. And pretty much for the most part, everyone has fought that. And instead, asked question after question after question and made it worse and worse and worse. I don't think it can be done that way. Anything's possible. So if you want to try to figure your life out, um, go for it. I'm just not really the person to follow on that. I absolutely am an expert, am an expert, on taking you, reminding you of who you really are and how to get to that next step from that perspective. Not a perspective of being a human being and caught in the game. Uh, my talks, so to speak, are about coming from it the other direction altogether. 
drop all of that stuff, all of that stuff that you ask me about. When it comes to the virus, so what? Who cares? If somebody wants to uh, be on a planet that's in a pandemic and have all of those experiences of people helping each other or not, uh, so what? What's that got to do with you? You're a god. If you don't want to have anything to do with the game, don't play. It's that simple. Don't make a big deal about it. You guys are making way too big a deal about it. If they want to play Panic, then let them play Panic. They're gods. They have the right. They have come here. They've spent their time and energy uh, is invested in coming here and living this life. So if that's how they want to play it out, they have the right to do that. Um, you have the right not to. It's just what you choose to do. And it's your choice. It's not the government's. It's not a virus's. It's your choice whether or not to play or not. Now, what my point in coming here is to help Gaia get out of certain vibrations and go to what you would consider 5D or what I consider 5D, a, a higher vibratory state. She has the right to do that, too. So anyone that wants to stay on those other vibrations, no harm, no foul, no judgment. It's just they've got to go somewhere else and do it. But like I've said before, you won't even know that you're on a different planet, guys. If, if you've decided to play the panic game, uh, live, stay in, in all of you, you want to want a family and a business and lots of money you want to play that you have every right to do that i am not saying anything bad about that it's not what i'm doing but you have every right to do that but that game has been played here for a very 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 long time and gaia just like you has things that she wants to do and she's leaving but because we're gods it is absolutely we are entirely capable of creating an identical planet that looks just like Gaia, filled with people and actions just like what you see in front of you. And you could actually do that completely on your own. You could split your consciousness and cover every plant, every animal, every other six billion human being on this planet. You are capable of doing that. And there are entities that have done just that. And then most of the time, uh, people decide on an energy or a game that they want to play, and they go in groups. And it's not that difficult. It's just that you're coming from a perspective of a lowly human, so you can't conceptualize it. And your scientists only have a certain knowledge base, so they can't conceptualize. I mean, it's a, a conversation whenever you talk about uh, one alternative uh, timeline let alone beginning to understand the infinite options that there truly are and that you can choose any of them. What is happening here is that Gaia has made a choice and she is the one that's leaving the game. You guys, all of you, you don't have to leave the game. You can stay and play as long as you want. Uh, you'll, I promise that anyone who doesn't see my video, who doesn't remember who they are, who wants to stay in a certain vibration, will find like-minded consciousnesses and they won't notice the difference. Or it'll be done in such a way that it'll be acceptable to your mind. Like, let's say the virus, let's say somebody really wants to live in a vibration of deep, deep fear and panic. Well, those are going back down. That's 3D vibrations there, that deep. So that would be an alternate Earth where others that wanted to play that game with them, um, let's say it's going to be a pandemic like it's never been seen before. Well, the ideal way for this to happen is for like-minded consciousnesses, and they will on a higher level agree to that. They'll recreate Earth exactly as you see it in front of you, and then they'll play that game out as a group and if they want it to be really horrible what will happen is uh six billion people will die of the plague leaving them to reduce that number and be able to spread that consciousness out to, to say two billion of them decide they want to play that game well then the disease will kill out off the other six billion in the meantime the six billion that that aren't going to play that deep intensive a game they will be the NPC players. They'll be 
like a version of me, will be on all of those other Earths until I die. And I'll play it out as you will. Anybody who knows me, I'll have a version of me on their other alternate Earth. But I'll just put a little bit of my consciousness in there just to play it out. Because that's how gods are. We are... The games that we play are extremely complicated, and we're capable of so much more. You are not just this one little human entity on this planet. But that's the reason why in the videos I've talked to that version of gods. But if you can't get past that understanding, if you can't understand that we're that big and we're that bad and we're that complex and we're capable of that much, what I have else to say will make no sense to you. If you're afraid of a virus, then you can't possibly begin to understand the concept of alternate Earths busting up, there's still being the same amount of people, the same things will go on, things will twist. If, And I don't know how to explain that to you. Because if you're worried about um, whether or not you will have a place to live tomorrow, it's really hard for you to take the time in your mind to understand that you could blink into existence a whole other planet that looked just like this one. Do you know what I mean? Are you understanding me? Okay, so hopefully I clarified that. Again, I apologize. Yesterday the videos were, I was very, very sleepy. It was it was too, too late to be doing that. Um, but I'd had like a bunch of uh, people contacted me yesterday. So I just wanted to get something out there. Okay, so now message from Gaia. After I've said all of that, uh, this is a message from Gaia to the people who really, really... Um, want to help her. Not what your idea of helping her is, but this is what you want to do if you want to really help her. And love to me is wanting what is best for the other person over what is best for you. That's true love to me. So what I'm saying is people who really love Gaia. All right? So your idea of helping Gaia from your five cents human perspective is getting rid of things like pollution and stop cutting down the trees and um, uh, controlling climate change. And the reason why I haven't said a whole lot about any of that stuff is because most of the people I've talked to, they have done it from a happy place. But what I'm seeing now is people are getting angry about it, okay? Now that's a whole different ball of wax. So here's the message from Gaia. Gaia wants y'all to understand that she does not see herself and everything that you see on the planet through five human senses. She experiences all of the life and her existence as a planet very, very differently than you do. So when you smell pollution and say, oh, that's bad, or your scientists say, well, this, is, this climate change is happening and it's going to destroy the planet, that's through your human understanding and human eyes. Gaia wants you to know that there is not anything on this planet, on this planet, that she can't handle. All of it is a part of her, okay? And it doesn't matter whether or not um, humans pump a bunch of crap into the air and change the oxygen content. It doesn't matter to her whether or not a whole bunch of plastic is put in the ocean. She can handle all that. Uh, whether y'all know it or not, if there's a bunch of stuff in a part of the ocean and there are fish involved and they don't want to die, they simply change vibration and, and they're in a place where the ocean is clean. And then on the other timeline, if Gaia so chooses, she will cause something to change that plastic back to something else. And I believe right now there's like a mushroom and a bacteria that they've found. Well, the mushroom and bacteria were not created by mankind to deal with the plastic problem. The plastic was created by substances that are of Gaia. And Gaia can change any substance on her that's a part of her into whatever she wishes. 
Um, she'll allow people to do what they're going to do in order to have the experience that you want to have. But ultimately, if it's physical on this planet, she can transform it at any time. She's a god, and she's aware that she's a god. She's not in full amnesia like you are. Um, so... The problem is not the pollution. The problem is not climate change. The problem, that's not the problem for Gaia. The, because all of that is vibration. And it flows, and she can help it flow, just like plants and animals live here, very much in the now, very much in and out, and balanceable in ways that you can't comprehend right now. What does interfere with what she's doing is when you came here, she said, okay, other consciousnesses can come and play like they're humans and forget that they're gods, which means that you have control over your, your feelings, not your emotions. You do have control over that too, but your feelings and your feelings, your intent, that is what causes you to emanate vibrations frequency. I've told you this before. You know when somebody's in a bad mood and it doesn't feel good to be around them. You know when someone's in a good mood and it does feel good to be around them. Well, think of it like that. If you're on the planet and you're angry or fighting with somebody over plastic or vegan versus meat or smoking versus non-smoking, it is the fighting, the vibration, the negative vibration that you have set in place by not flowing with her, by not trusting that she knows what she's doing. It's that fight that you have amongst yourselves that causes the disruption in her trying to defractal and raise her energies, which is why things have been put in place now that will force people who are not going to raise their vibration and merge with her to do what she wants to do. If you don't want to join her game, then you will go to other versions. Okay, other virgins. But it will be, we, we are, like I said, we are very good at this. There's not going to be some instant end of the world scenario on Gaia. Gaia won't be the one here. Now, that won't mean that you're not capable of being so afraid to be with consciousness, to be create your own version of Gaia and have it destroyed. That has already happened, by the way, on the people that really were afraid of um, a nuclear bombs blowing up the planet or uh, other, other alternate Earths that have been created and blown up were um, asteroid, the whole asteroid scenario. Those alternate Earths and people who believed in them strongly have already been on those planets and have already been destroyed. The same thing will be true here. And all, everybody will have a chance, and they'll be pushed pretty hard. That's why uh, Gaia put the virus in place like this, is it's pushing, pushing you to make up your mind. If you're going to live in fear, all of the people that are going to live in fear, they're all going to be pushed to that same vibration. <coughs> and they'll have a chance to jump on that alternate nerve alternate earth and play that scenario out leaving people that are going ah oh, it's no big deal guys got this i'm a god i don't want to be affected to it it's no big deal and it will float it'll flow away just like they always do all right so hopefully uh that will clarify it um like i said i'm gonna start a channel on the other site and kind of clean this up a little bit and uh uh we'll see how it picks up over the next months, as months goes by. If there are people that come back and they truly understand the concept of being gods and they understand the game, then I'll continue to talk from that regard. And as always, uh, whether you're going to play in fear or play not, if you want me to talk you through something, then just set up an appointment and I'll do that. Okay? All right, guys. I uh, love you so much. Huge hugs, and I'll see you later. Bye now.